This episode of Designing My Huga Home is sponsored by Organic Basics. We've reached the fourth and final part of the series. Thank you for watching my journey up until this point. It's always an honor for me to share my dreams and ideas with you. Today, we're going to tackle the bedroom and bathroom. The first thing I did was paint a half circle headboard because I wanted to make the room look more interesting but still keep the peaceful, minimal vibes. You can watch the full tutorial on the Huga Shop YouTube channel, linked in my description. When that was all done, I replaced the ceiling fan with this beautiful rattan pendant light. This piece, along with everything else featured in this video, will be linked in my description as well. Whenever I post a video or a photo of my home, I always get very kind comments and messages praising my quote-unquote natural talent. But I think it's important to note that most of what I know now about design had to be taught. I spent four years immersing myself in interior design, even watching videos about it on Skillshare, to build an eye for cozy and functional spaces. Home decor aside, you'll be surprised to know that many of the so-called talents that I have today are the result of years of research and practice. Even my writing skills, which come in handy for this YouTube job, did not come naturally to me at all. Rather, it was an acquired skill. Some of my friends were shocked to find out that I scored into the lowest English class in my first year of college, remedial English. Yep, I didn't even know how to write a proper paragraph, let alone an essay. But it was in that remedial English class that I finally learned the basics of English composition. And my newfound knowledge lit a fire in me to learn more and more. Eventually, I decided to major in English at UC Berkeley. But all this is to say that the things that seemed to come so easily to some, most likely didn't come naturally at all. It had to be taught. When I thought about what message I wanted to leave you with, since it is the last video of the series, one word stuck out to me the most. Compassion. In order to create a Huga home, the final and most important ingredient is compassion. And contrary to what some people might think, compassion doesn't come naturally to us. Yanmi Park, a human rights activist and North Korean defector, explained this more clearly in her TED talk. She said, A lot of people think humans inherently know what is right and wrong, the difference between justice and injustice, what we deserve and don't deserve. I tell them, BS. Everything, everything must be taught, including compassion. She continued, If I see someone dying on the street right now, I will do anything to save that person. But when I was in North Korea, I saw people dying and dead on the streets. I felt nothing. Not because I'm a psychopath, but because I never learned the concept of compassion. She added that only after learning about this concept did she finally feel it in her heart. Now, this is a rather extreme example of how love and compassion has to be taught, but it's still very true. Our sinful nature as human beings is to default on selfishness and self-preservation, not self-sacrifice, 
grace, and compassion. These concepts are unnatural and often countercultural. I chose to speak on this as the final message because, in order to create a peaceful Huga home for ourselves, we must begin to think outside of our own personal homes and learn to genuinely be interested in the lives of others. After all, we each take part in shaping our environments together. And in this quest to create peace and Huga, we cannot be passive and simply rely on our hearts to guide us, because such things like compassion, grace, and self sacrifice don't come naturally to the human heart. Instead, we must continually surround ourselves with examples of compassion. Grace and self sacrifice. And for Christians, this means continually immersing yourself in the Word, where you will find the greatest and most personal example of compassion ever modeled how the Father of the universe had compassion for his children. And so he came down from his perfect home in heaven to a broken place called Earth. To become the person of Jesus Christ, fully man and fully God, to live through temptations, betrayal, and loss, just like us, to finally being accused, beaten, and nailed to the cross, taking on all of our past, present, and future sins so that we can be reconciled to the Father. If there's anything you can learn from the story of Christ, it's that compassion breeds action. The opposite of compassion isn't hate, it's apathy. Compassion for others, especially those who we disagree with, might not come naturally to us, but it's a critical muscle to grow if we want to create a more peaceful, Huga, and God honoring home. Like Apostle Paul said, let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect.
thank you again to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. If there's one thing I enjoy more than jumpsuits, it's comfy, sustainable basics. I especially love that their factory workers have fair workplace standards. Their organic cotton is also grown in Turkey with no pesticides or harmful fertilizers. I've been wearing the Silver Tech line all week, which is super light and breathable. The trademark material reduces bacteria growth and keeps me fresh and odorless all day, even when I break a sweat. If you're looking for solid basics and activewear that will last for years to come, choose the sustainable route and check out Organic Basics. I've included a 10% off discount code in my description, as well as links to all the other pieces in my collection. Thank you for watching the final video of my new series. If you haven't yet watched the first three parts, check out the playlist on my channel. I'll see you all in another video soon.